With the weather outside, perhaps too cold to hit the sledding hill. Yeah, it's actually a thing. Today, some fun indoor projects to keep kids away from the TV or the tablet that teach kids about different cultures too. Child education expert Elise McGregor is here with a few fun ideas. Hi, Elise. Hi. And we Hi. have some guests as well. Are you, are you guys ready to go? Are you super ready? Yeah. You gonna say anything? You gonna say hi? Hi, my name is Rose Freiberg, and I don't want to say any more. Okay, that's a, we'll get to you in a second, but you did a great job. Elise, what are we making today? Let's start with the pine cones. Yeah, so the pine cones, it's interesting. You can teach them about where the tradition of the Christmas tree came from yeah. and decorate them. Those it's are huge project. pine cones. I know, that's really, They're it's a massive. fun project for them. And you could also hang them on the tree. You certainly can. That's okay. Can and I, then, can I, can I, can I, I love that. <laughs> These are little gnomes, and they're um, a tradition out of Sweden that the gnomes come after the holidays mm -hmm. and protect um, the livestock. And then, um, moving down we, uh, Let's see, we're going to create a, is a Christmas tome tin, is that right? That's the gnome. That's yeah. the gnome. That's yes. right there. How do you, is that a Hershey's Kiss? It is. It totally, okay, it With is. With a little bit of felt and some ice. Is it hard to not eat the Hershey's Kiss? when you? Isn't it hard? No. No? <laughs> You're very disciplined. Good job. A Diwali lantern. Yeah, so we have, um, the kids are cutting just kind of to show the age groups of mm -hmm. how you could do this project. So the Festival of Lights, we teach them about um, in November this holiday. Very cool. Diwali. And, yep. And then um, the Chinese New Year, we mm -hmm. made some lion masks. Oh, this is neat. You, can, you, can you demonstrate this first? You want to try it on? No? Yes, Rose you do? Rose really wanted to. There you go. Rose, is that your name? Yeah. All right. Here we go, Rose. It's your big camera debut. Look at that. <laughs> you did it. Does it make a sound? No, it does not make a sound. Of course it doesn't make a sound. It's a lion mask, right? Yes. All right. And it's pretty easy. This stuff is pretty easy to make. Yeah. They're and just, it's yeah. engaging for them. And how old is everybody here? How old are you? Six. Six. How old are you? I don't know. You don't know? Three. Three. That's what Belinda says when we ask her how old she is. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Belle, wherever you are. How old are you? Seven. Seven. Seven, six, and I don't know. Uh, toilet paper menorah. Yes. This so is kind of cool. This is just a fun way to kind of incorporate. And at Little Newtons, we really teach them all of the different traditions mm -hmm. rather than just Christmas. And so, um, you know, the kids next week will be learning about these crafts as yeah. well as um, the tradition of Hanukkah. And the, the neat thing here that I think is basically most of the stuff you can find in your house if you don't have yeah. it already. Yeah. That's kind of key, isn't it? It is, yep. And it's, I mean, it's projects, it's engaging. It's a time to talk to your kids about the diversity of the holidays. Yeah. Very cool. Thank yeah. you guys for coming in. You did a great Thank job. You. you can find a link to Little Newtons and find directions to these crafts you saw today on care11.com. Nice job, ladies.